um, I've been asked to make a quick little rolling demo on how to compile RunWow. So let's go through and do that. Um, I'm running Windows Vista 64 bit here and I'm going to be compiling uh, the RunWow source with Microsoft uh, Visual Studio 2005. So let's get started. Alright, when you've downloaded your uh, own copy of the source, which through SVN, it would just be going through and doing an update because everyone who sees this video technically should have their own copy of it. Uh, it's, this is a closed beta development, so pretty much we've only got a few people uh, working on it and all those people uh, aren't allowed to give it out and vice versa. So um, if you're interested in working for us and you see this video, let us know through wowps.org. Otherwise, yeah, sorry, it's not freely available just yet. Um, okay, after that's all set up, then we go through and load up Microsoft Visual Studio 2005. Now, basically, we go through and open up a solution file. Um, you just gotta go to the place that you've uh, extracted or downloaded the you know, RunWow repository from. Go into that, and you'll notice there'll be a whole bunch of files in there. Ignore everything in there, go into the rwow.server file uh, folder, then go into the runwow.server folder. You'll notice there's a solution at the bottom at the moment. Ignore that, that one is not the one that we want. The one that we want is inside of runwow.server. Open that up, and there'll be a solution file and a CS project file. Ignore the project file, just grab the solution. Open that one. And it'll go through and show up server.cs, which is all the code that we've got sitting in here. Um, and over on the, the Solution Explorer, it'll go through and show each different part that it's compiling and the associated files with it. Now, when we go to compile it, you can compile it as any kind of, um, you know, if you want to definitely as a 32-bit kind of um, an exe, you can go through and um, make your own little sections right here. Um, other than that, I honestly really wouldn't bother too much. Most of these are pre-set up to already be six, uh, not 64 bit, eight, uh, x86 or 32 bit. So I really wouldn't worry too much. Then we go through and you just build the project. You'll see in this bottom output thing a whole bunch of scripting go through. Oh, compiles it very quickly because I've already pre-compiled it earlier. Um, it'll go through and compile and also it will then run after it's compiled. Because the uh, program itself needs uh, configuration files, it'll automatically crash on, on when it's compiled. Um, basically, you hit break after the compile, then you can look at that. And that's basically the loading of the RunWow server itself. Uh, everything's done, and you can see it's just starting to, to load the external scripts. This folder doesn't exist, so technically it crashes because it's trying to reference a file. Um, Alright, then we can close that, that'll take a couple of seconds, and then all of the uh, screen here will go back to normal. You can see the output here with all the exceptions and everything else. Basically, went through and built everything pretty much perfectly. Um, there are a few little errors there which say a few DLLs don't exist and all that kind of stuff, which basically is why the thing crashed in the first place. Um, Alright, now after that's done, you will go back to the source, and you'll notice there'll be a, in the side of the rwow.server file, uh, folder, there'll be in a bin directory. Go inside of the bin directory, and you'll see a debug folder, go inside of that, and you'll see two exe files. Those are your, your new freshly compiled exes, and there's all these extra DLLs that have also been compiled in there. They're all the uh, exes that you can use in the repack. The repack's a whole completely separate SVN, um, which... I think I've got it sitting down here somewhere. Oh wow, there you go. You can see there's the realm server and the actual WoW server itself all compiled and sitting there perfectly. Um, then basically all the configuration needs to be done, which is completely showing up out of screen, but you get the point. It's pretty damn easy to um, go through and do all this kind of stuff. But yeah, all that was needed was a basic compile of the server, and I've done that, so I'll leave it to it. See ya.